Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Disney Gargoyles video. And today, we finally have a villain. A, a true villain, not like a uh, kind of anti-hero-ish a little bit, you know what I mean? We finally have the Steel Clan Robot Ultimate Action Figure. And on the sides of the box, you get really nice photos of said Steel Clan Robot. You got the nice little case where it opens up. You get to see the photo of the figure. It looks pretty good, right? Looks like the photos on the rest of the box. And if you're in the store, you can check it out and make sure all the parts and pieces are there, right? Nice paint job. On the back side, you get to see the figure. You get nice photos. You get a little bit of a write-up. So overall, it's very well done. Really shows off exactly what you're going to be getting in the box. I do wish that they would change up the bio from time to time, right? And you get to see all the characters thus far. Now, I'm a little bit behind. Most are releasing now the more human characters xanatos alisa maza we also have coldstone they've teased other characters macbeth eh, I don't know. like we'll we'll see what happens plus we got a little bit of a, a variance going on we have the whole uh, detective undercover broadway and then we got the two-pack with demona and goliath with the whole uh, you know, phoenix gates there's a lot of gargoyle stuff coming out is what I'm trying to say. And it's brought to you by these fine folks. These are the people involved with making these figures. So thank you very much for that. Especially the cover illustration. That is top notch. Now, you do have the barcode. These are starting to hit Target store shelves now. And of course, that's where I picked up mine. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax. Have Owen grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Disney Gargoyles. The Steel Clan Robot by NECA Toys. And while I got all you robots of the night here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Gargoyles videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. We got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like a big ol' Steel Clan Robot, right? And here he is, all out of the packaging. It's huge, the wings are insane, and you get a lot of accessories in the box, right? So a number of them, oddly enough, are a bunch of hands, and they're really well done. So something I want to point out real fast about this is the sculpt on this is tremendous, even down to the hands. You got fisted hands, they're razor sharp, you got all the little mechanical details, that is very cool. I definitely appreciate the paint job on this as well, I like that very cool greenish metallic with the silver it really makes this particular character characters pop if you know what i mean and you get a pair of blasters now these are not supposed to be handheld blasters these are the little devices that pop up out of the wrists of the robot as you can see here and they fire upon the gargoyles and it's very simple you got a little control panel that will pop out a little plastic piece on each of the arms and then you simply just port in the blaster. Really easy peasy, and like I said, you can do it on both sides because you got two different weapons, right? So that's cool to see, nicely done. You also get a pair of blast fire effects. They're the exact same effect. They're done in a orange translucent plastic, and they simply peg in to the bottom of the robot's feet. So it gives them a little thrust action, right? Along with a larger effect piece which again same color plastic and that fits into the backpack where then now eh, he looks like he's flying through the air nice touch now the wings the wings throughout this entire line of gargoyles action figures it's been a point of contention right everyone likes the drapey wings for the gargoyles the wings themselves are huge they're insanely big and the steel clan robot wings are no different they're more like sickle blades right like sharp knives Unfortunately on mine, I have some sort of residue. It's not something that's coming off. I've tried everything. It's basically stained on there. You can see it when you move it around. You can't really see it dead on, but it is there and it doesn't look very good. The wings of the Steel Clan robot were more like bat wings. These, they're very, for lack of a better word, very janky feeling, right? And be very careful with them. They feel extremely fragile, much again, like all the gargoyles wings but these in particular they do a little flappy thing especially when you swap out parts and pieces and when you pour them into the back 
they actually stay very nicely. So they're in there. You can fold them back. You can have them go up and down, but they are going to knock into the robotic hair of this robot. Now, the actual robot himself, I'm going to leave the wings off for obvious reasons because articulating this thing with those wings, forget about it. Anyways, like I said, beautifully done. The sculpt is amazing. I love the face portraits. I love that he has the little receptors for the ears. They nailed it. This is a beautiful looking figure through and through. The paint is gorgeous. Everything about it rocks. Where it goes south, if it goes south, right, is in articulating this thing. You get a nice big bendy wire tail, which is perfect because it keeps all the gargoyles and especially the Steel Clan robots aloft because of how they stand. Now, the feet are totally fine. They're very sturdy. They're not loose. That's a huge bonus right there. But as you'll soon see, the waist is the problem, especially with heavy back wings. But I do appreciate that he stands rather well. So that's good, right? That's totally the best thing they got going <laughs> as long as you get them standing upright. Again, the sculpt is awesome. The paint is awesome. He has these shoulder pads, which are on a hinge. These make me nervous as well because it's a very, very tiny little piece in there. It's gummy. It's not solid, right? So that's good. But then again, it makes me very nervous and it's kind of odd that they went this route. When you want to put the arms all the way up, it looks like that. Does it look good? Nah, I mean, at least it gives us some form and function to it. You have bicep swivel, you have double jointed elbows, and then of course you have the wrists and then you have the gauntlets with the whole panel pops off, put the gun in, yada, yada. The hair, the head, you're going to get minimal articulation on that, right? As much as the hair will allow, but again, when you put the wings on, it becomes incredibly limited because the hair will then knock into the wings. So that's something where on Angela, the whole bendy wire hair really helped. The waist, as I pointed out before, is very loose and it's unusually loose for a new figure. Like I've pointed out before, especially in my recent King Sphinx Power Ranger video, that's something that 30 years from now, I expect a toy to be loose. Pulling it out of the package? No, that's something that should be sturdy. In fact, you don't even have to put an ab crunch on this guy. It probably would have been better, but it hinders the whole flight pose, as I'll point out in just a few. But again, like I said, the articulation is really solid on him. Don't get me wrong, but it's loose in some senses. But if you get him a very sturdy doll stand, because this thing is heavy, you can get him into more of a hovering slash flying position. The problem with the torso is that he can't keep the pose if you want to do the whole flying aspect. And now some people have asked, are you going to get uh, more Steel Clan robots to really fit the cartoon, especially in their first appearance episode? Five, perhaps? Six? Xanatos being the leader in his red getup, right? Probably not. I like this Gargoyles line a heck of a lot. Don't get me wrong. But there are issues with space, moving them around. They make me nervous to move around. It's basically a set it and forget it situation, right? The less you can mess with these, the less you can pose them around, the better. Because I'm ever fearful that I'm going to break or snap something and that's just going to ruin the whole experience. Now, something I would have really liked to have seen with this Steel Clan robot would have been battle damage parts. You could take the head off, you could have Goliath or any of the other gargoyles holding the head, but some sort of effect, battle damage, something like that really would have added to this and honestly would have made me go like, yeah, I probably would have gotten another one just to have a, a damaged robot. But if you were wondering, yes, with all your gargoyles in your gargoyles collection thus far, the Steel Clan robot definitely looks great. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Disney gargoyles. The Steel Clan Robot by NECA Toys. And again, it's a tremendous sculpt. The paint is great. The execution of the figure kind of leaves you want more in many ways. But that's just something I've said through and through with their Gargoyles line. It is a set it and forget it situation with this line. The less you do with it, 
the better it's going to look on your shelf. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Disney gargoyles. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the cartoon TMNT line by NECA Toys, I feel like we're very spoiled. However, I would love to see everything they do on that line apply to the gargoyles line. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.